What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about what Josiah saw. Directed by Vincent Grandshaw and written by Robert Allen Dilt, this film stars people like Robert Patrick, Nick Stahl, Scott Hayes, Kelly Garner, and tells the story of a family with a very mysterious and broken, dark, pretty disgusting past. Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Anthony A. Perez, and if you're new here to the channel, I want to invite you to hit that subscribe button and join us here as I talk about all things movies, TV, do vlogs, supercuts, live streams, all that fun stuff here on the channel. And today we're gonna to be talking about a movie called What Josiah Saw, a movie that's coming out on Shudder that is gonna be releasing on August 4th. And so a big thanks to them over at Shudder for sending me over another early screener. Uh, this is a movie that's been in the festival run since late of last year in 2021. So if you look on IMDb, it'll say that it released in 2021, but it's officially getting a wide release now on August 4th on Shudder, the horror streaming service, as I just mentioned. And again, a big thanks to them for sending me over a screener. I'm always grateful to get screeners, and it's always a bummer when I watch a movie like this one that I was not a fan of. I'm not going to waste too much of your time with this movie review, to be completely honest, because... I don't really often like to say that I feel like I wasted my time watching a movie, even if it's bad, you know, sometimes it could be, it's so bad, it's good. But in the case of what Josiah saw, this is a movie I genuinely feel like I wasted my time watching and ultimately feels like one of the longest movies I've ever watched. Yeah, I was not a fan of this film. I will say the best part about this film was some of the cinematography and some of the lighting. I enjoyed a lot about the look of the film at times. There was a nice indie look and feel to it. And you have some decent performances throughout the course of the film, notably from people people like Robert Patrick. Beyond that though, the narrative here, I was 110% not into what was going on in the story, the characters, and anything that was really happening. This is one of those movies that just plays out in a way where it's hard for you as an audience member to follow. And it's one thing to have a film that's shrouded in mystery, that continually has the audience asking questions. But in the case of what Josiah saw, this is a movie that just felt like it was consistently having you ask the question of just what the fuck is going on and where are we going with this movie. It wasn't even really like I was lost in the events that were happening on screen, but you just really have no sense of where this film is going for the longest time. This film is ridiculously slow from top to bottom, and I was just bored throughout. By the time we get to the end and we do get answers to a lot of the questions we've been asking, and a lot of this movie starts to come together, then, you know, you kind of feel like, all right, at least I got some sort of answers, but the journey was not a lot of fun. This film is broken up into three different chapters as we focus on a family with a broken past and each chapter focusing on a different individual in this family and then eventually bringing it all together in the end. You know, I'm a big fan of anthology films that have various different stories that sometimes can come together at the end. Something like that can be done really, really cool. In the case of something like this, where you have a family story that tells these you know multiple stories that come together and yeah by the time I came to the end of the movie I thought to myself all right the premise of this entire movie I can see what they were trying to do here but while you're watching it you genuinely just don't know where it's going you don't know who these characters are and how they tie into one another and I just never really found myself invested in the characters their story the family the trauma and this is a movie that just for me dragged from beginning to end I never found myself engaged in the story I never found myself really excited there was maybe two or three moments in the film where some crazy stuff started to happen and I kind of like peaked up, you know, it kind of peaked my interest. But outside of that, honestly, I'm, I'm kind of just scrambling in my head to try to think of something really positive to say outside of the decent performances. And I don't even really blame the actors for the things I didn't like about this movie and the characters because a lot of it is all about the writing. I didn't really care for the characters on paper i didn't really care about their story i didn't really care about the dialogue that they were being that they were kind of you know having to say and all the characters really for me were just unlikable in every single way there really isn't a likable character to at least root for here or a character that you can like kind of love to hate a character that is really well acted and is a terrible character but is at least enjoyable to watch because they have some form of charisma that just pulls you in that's definitely not the case here unfortunately with what josiah saw i found this movie to just be kind of yeah, like that's just the best way i can really put it i watched it with my buddy the big rob theory and we were just sitting here thinking 
what is going on? Like genuinely, where is this going? The film just felt aimless from top to bottom. And again, outside of some lighting and some camera work and some of the performances, I really don't have much more to say about this film. This film, like I said, comes out on Shutter on August 4th of 2022, as it's finally getting its wide release. Now, if you're watching this after the fact and you saw the movie and now you're trying to find somebody talking about the movie, uh, please leave your comments down below. Did you like this movie? Did you not like this movie? For me, it was just dull. It was dull. It was boring. And it's a film that deals with some heavy subjects, like obviously it's a horror film. So you got murder and stuff like that, but you come to expect that. But it also deals with things like incest and rape. And to have a movie that deals with such heavy themes where it really feels kind of aimless and ultimately boring and kind of pointless by the time we get to the end, especially with the final moment of the, of the film, yeah, this is a movie I'll never watch again and a movie that I genuinely felt like I wasted my time on and a movie I feel like I can never recommend for you guys to go and watch to even go and build your own opinion. I don't even think it's worth it to be completely honest. Um, but if you saw the movie and you're here because you saw it, I, I definitely want to hear what you have to say. And if you enjoyed it, please leave comments and let me know what it is that you enjoyed about it that maybe I just didn't really latch on to. A big thanks to you guys for watching. And uh, yeah, please leave your comments, hit that like button, subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.